Hello my fellow gamers, Simple Geek Gaming, and welcome back to what is now part 6 of the Mindception server. Since the last episode, I haven't particularly done much apart from the complete the slime farm, which I will show you in a minute. But obviously, um, since the other night when I came on, uh, if it was after work, I went down to check out the second, let me just change you. Ah, damn, damn, there we go. I went down to check the new second level of the uh, Never Hub and I was actually quite impressed and I thought I might as well just pick a new a tunnel for myself. I don't mind sharing but I want to try and do some, try and design a tunnel for myself. Um, and then while I was down there, uh, gas started firing at me, it knocked me off and then tried to get out of the way, used my sword to obviously try and hit the little fireballs back at it, that failed miserably and obviously that destroyed the neverrack I was standing on and I fell to my death, I think it was over a hundred meters, yeah I lost all my stuff, all, all my fantastic armor and what really really was annoying that I went back, went back up here to get, get a new set of armor, went back to the second never hub again uh, went to that same place I went, fell out, walked off the side without realising all the lava underneath and I burned to a Chris. the only thing I saved was a sword before it obviously enchanted. How annoying. But the, f but the good note on that was when I came back up here the second time I saw this little beauty. Well this look, this lift, this. It says like in your recent video you said you didn't have one. So here's a little gift, Lazy Gamer Dan, who lives just down the cliff, say probably about a good four or five hundred meters down that way, and he left me one of these. I've been wanting to make one of these for a while, but it's just a case of trying to find some blooming blazes. I have found them, but it's just a case of trying to get find my way down there. But I think he beat me to it. So what I'm gonna have to do? I'm gonna have to try and give him something in return. Part of me's thinking trying to find a decent horse and just breeding it. To get an even better horse, and then can give him that. But I'm I'm sure I'll think of something. Maybe a diamond, got got a lot of gold. I'll yeah, I'll think of something. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna walk down to the slime farm. It isn't really too far away. Is it, is it night time yet? Is it night? I think it is. Oh goody. Anyway, yeah, I'm gonna go down to this slime farm and show you the finished products because it does look mightily impressive and here we are at the finished products as you can see this looks absolutely fantastic i love this build it has been i think the good one really good one so far um yes i think this thing has taken me a probably good good few hours the most annoying part was just trying to get all the lights in and then setting up the tunnel for all the slimes to my base. Though, to be honest, I have not seen any slimes since I really dug out the place. And I remember I set it up and the zero point was, or should I say is, there. So if that's right in the middle of a slime chunk, this is really shorten it out. I really should have done that as the central point of just one one of the blocks. Oh well that I think that's my own fault to be honest. I remember most of the time when I tried to come down here after I finished it I kinda of got lost quite a few times. Yeah. yeah but the main problem of having it is with this place now complete the only slight downside is that it is outside the the 128 block limits in which slimes despawn. It's obviously well outside the hundred, the 36 block limit. And what's mo most annoying is, I think when I came down here the other day, I did see a, some slimes. Uh, they fell in. They got brushed down here. They drowned. Then they went up. They went up. They went up ladder and so forth. Then I decide, huh, I'll go all the way to my base. To that little window you, uh, I showed you and waited there for a good 5 to 10 minutes and nothing came and it led me to realise yes I kind of made a little mistake so what I'm going to have to do now is probably kind of destroy a few of the blocks inside put a good few probably put about 
good nine hoppers down with a chest underneath maybe a double one and then flood the area i will be keeping this this area here because of it if i can get or not if it's when i can get enough iron i'm going to make an absolute bucket load of hoppers now which way is it um it's one of the ways anyway i'm going to make an absolute bucket load of hoppers the only only one sl slight downside to that it's going to cost me over a thousand pieces or thousand iron ingots and at the moment it's just not practical just not practical to use the iron just solely for this and leave me short for every all the other little projects that I want to do so for the time being it is a good build and obviously yeah the thing I forgot to mention was I got this thing off a cha another channel called 77 static 777 I will make sure I put a link in the description just to show you uh, show you the build so you can actually do it yourself it is a really really efficient build and all you have to do is just stay around the area and that's, that leads me on to the next point because obviously if the slimes don't spawn unless you're over 30 odd blocks away I am going to have to try and clear out most of this obviously probably put glass up uh, connected to the top so the torches are stuck on and have a big open area with a glass roof with plenty of torches on the sides as I'm going as it's going up and that way I can just AFK up there and fingers crossed wait for slimes yes that is going to be a later build but what i intend to do now is go back to the base and then tell you what i have next in store right then right back at base so this the things i have in store or what i plan to build is a humongous amount of farmland so proper buildings for all the animals um, including these little buggers which i'm which annoyingly I'm going to have to separate, especially if I just want one of lots of colour. I do hope to have a probably have one of each colour, and I think there's about okay. I can't actually remember how many bloody colours there is. So oh, that's going to be annoying. And also, I'm going to have to find a, a friend for him and a friend for him. Though I've got plenty of eggs, so I can make tons of chickens. Yeah, uh, yeah. Also, I think with the sugar cane, I've got the idea of using a, or making an aut near enough automatic um, sugar cane farm. I think the design I found of Momo Jumbo, obviously you think you've heard of him, so I think quite a few people on this server have used that design, so I will be doing the same. And also want to do like a melon and pumpkin set, no loss design as well. That will be good. Also... With this pathway, I probably just might use cobblestone down to this. Probably, probably down this point, might make some sort of big circle with a maybe nice big fountain. Well, the main problem is when you're building stuff, you don't quite know how it's going to look until it's completed, and even then, you're not hundred percent certain if it's right. Yeah, it's just one of those annoying little things because I've noticed quite a few things inside that are probably not right, but it's probably a little bit too late to change it but another thing inside i've actually worked out how i'm going to do all my lighting using that for the roof in this case using um, half slabs glowstone and then plonk a normal block on top but i'm gonna to have to find a ton of glowstone so i'm i don't even work it all out this is going to be hum this is going to be a fun little build hopefully i'll be back not hopefully i will be back once it's all complete Right guys, I unfortunately have missed a shot that, that I failed to show you the other thing in the last episode. And it in fact is this one. I was reminded by one of the other players, um, Sam Willies, that he messaged me on YouTube and also on here. Just to say, say obviously I forgot, I just just told him, yeah I knew. Um, I fa found the shot when I was looking round, but I completely forgot about it when I was recording. So any of you, this is it. It's a fancy little place. This has got load. It's basically got loads of armor, loads of other little bits like say that. You've got your ice. Okay, unfortunately there isn't any. Also, your your helmets. What's that monster? Ah, oh, from Mushroom Island. Cool. Must try and get some of that from my place. Also, your swords. 
there was a beacon in here about a, about a couple days ago. If only I had 32 diamonds. Some other guys bought it, so meh, not fair. Also, this one is for the mob drops. Obviously, not the clay there. And obviously, all repaired because you got your hel chainmail helmets. You got your right helmet, legging, chest plate, leggings, and your boots. And a couple of enchanted ones. Got protection 2 and protect top. Oh, that's actually a decent one. Hmm. How much is it? One diamond. Mm, I'm not sure actually. I might work on a set of armor myself. Also, one of the shops that I showed you, which was the charity one, just here, has now been taken over by Jacko Daco12345. Damn snake, where is it? I oh, forget it. And he is selling an absolute bucket load of stuff. Like you got your carrots, your wheat, plenty of carrots. Pump no pumpkin pie yet. Got him, he's got his melons, even blaze rods. So he's got plenty. How much are they? 32 for 12 iron or one diamond. Okay, I might have to actually take him up on that offer to get some blaze rods because I need some. Also, we've got cactuses. So I've got plenty at the back. Well, never warts. How much? One diamond again. Uh, you've got vines, potatoes, pumpkins, and all the other chests are currently empty. And obviously, all the stuff is not for sale. So, yeah, these are the two stalls. Uh, is it still raining? Yes, and that spider stall. So, right, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to get back to base. And then, once I'm back there, I will show you. And, um, yeah, show you what I have been up to. But first, obviously, I'm doing it off camera. I am going to get those blaze rods. Hey guys, right, we are back here, and as you can see, I haven't really made much progress in terms of out here. All I've seen to have done, oh, skeleton, I'm going to have to try and get him later, anyway. Yeah, all I've done is just cleared a lot of land, I think a ton of soil in them three chests there. Though, to be honest, them two are bloody floating now. Seems weird without these here and the tree farm. The tree farms are just going to be repositioned anyway. So, yeah, um. I've still got quite a bit of soil to clear, including where, the, where you see that stone there, and this bit of soil there. I might keep this one just to keep it a little bit different, but not super, super flat. The only thing that makes it stand out is my fountain, which I think was an absolute fantastic buddy build. It only took me about half an hour just to get all the stone for it, and then get all the water sorted. I'll just walk up. Oh, it's a skeleton. Yeah. Is that, I love this little build. I'm really, really pleased with it. Things, things the vocal point when you go outside, you see that, you see that. All you got to do now is get the buildings. I'm gonna have to kill this guy now. Die! Oh, gold leggings, nice. Right, that's dealt with. Don't really, not really concerned about the creeper. And go. Okay, we seem to have landed under the bridge. Right, and inside, there has been a big, big change. Just close the door. Voila! This is the... I think officially, this is the outside. I've got a little bit of help from uh, what other player, Nia Cutter. Um, he helped me out for about 20 minutes just to help finish off these little bits, which I'm very, very grateful for. And... I mean, when I did build it, it was a case of it was too high with glass, and it was just with, like, the cut brick stone, but I'm pretty happy. Really, really happy. Also, inside, as we go, here I am, we now have our ceiling in place, and some stairs. Okay, I don't know why I want the stairs. So, these, this must have taken a Good 40 odd minutes because I had to freaking throw the stone into the bloody furnace. Then, but he, once it was freaking uh, put down to this stuff, I had to freaking collapse it down to the half slabs. And then it's a case of plunking it all down. Yes, well, as you see. So, and as for these gaps, as you, you may ask, this is for glowstone. The big problem is how am I going to get in? Will I be able to get? enough because I'm doing the exact same thing 
upstairs because let me just show you there's nothing changed up here I'll just show you what my what I'm planning to do because up here I'm going to be having this exact same amount of gap like four blocks this is the, the flooring obviously not the level of flooring but not the proper flooring because I'm having half slabs of these and the ceiling is going to be about this high so this is going to be a really fun really fun and really tedious to blooming clear out i'll be glad when this is all cleared and i've got my glowstone and i've got everything sorted for the so i can get the rooms doing right i think what i'm going to do i'm going to cut here and then possibly get back to you once my fa farm houses are buddy finished and also with this so catch you in a bit hi guys well i have been pretty busy since last time um i've just let me just sort it out uh let me just message pet petless a minute um uh, what shall I say? I'll take in a load with me. Okay, sorry about that. Um, yeah, what? Since the last cut, I have oh bloody a bit of lag spike. Um, I have been I have completed mo at least over half of the ceiling, so it looks near enough like downstairs. All I've got to do now is work out how I'm going to do the other side because on this side, let me just dig through the big open wall. We have this big open area. This is where the house f finishes. So what I intend to do with this little bit of area is from this bit all the way over here is potentially have a ginormous glass wall with a glass ceiling with the glowstone start in between like inside with one block glowstone two blocks glowstone and so on so at night time it will not only light up the area outside it will keep this area lit up so yes this is going to be the challenging one because that means i am going to have to get a load of um yes load a load of load more glowstone and a load of sand so i'm really really not looking forward to that also, uh, let me just go outside. Oh, uh, yeah, we just got a couple uh, visitors at the moment. We're about to go caving. Uh, we have Petlers here and Lazy Game. Lazy Game with Dan. I'll just message him now. Uh, will they message me back? There you go. <laughs> I doubt your mum's going to see it, Dan. Oh, well. Uh, in, right, and I will show you the late, latest outside. Is it... It's, oh, yeah, it's normal. It's night time. No, doesn't really make much difference anyway. Because this is what I have done out here. I have completed, or partially completed, the pens... These ones were not too bad to actually build. The worst and set up, especially getting the animals in. The worst ones were the sheep pens. Because let me just walk down here and show you. And try not to get attacked. By any mobs. I don't know why I've got this up. And I really should have brought an axe with me. It was trying to get all of the sheep in. Because I, if you remember from previous episodes. I had about 10 or 11 sheep in that pen down here and a case of trying to get it all down here and then separated so i ended up just getting a couple of them and then just killing the extra orange or extra yellow and then breeding them back up again and i've still got about another 16 or so colors i think the white one here is a temporary one i think i might have a white pen outside say i forgot another color i want to breed um, and obviously don't want to go into these colours. So as you can see, I have got an absolute load. Also, if we just head back to where the bridge is, I think Nancy was still exploring. I, think, I don't know what is, there, is to explore because I've explored most of it and I need to block off that hole. Um, also, oh, damn bloody zombies. I hate them. I really shouldn't have recorded at night. On this side, obviously, like I said, I still haven't done this bit. I'll probably try and get to that later on. Um, I plan to have my auto wheat, potato, and carrot farm. 
That is going to be the challenging build, especially trying to get all the redstone. I've got plenty of stone to do. To, yeah, all of the redstone and then getting all the system set up so it works in in sync with each other. And I'm going to have to pull me tap. This is a zombie. Die, you git. Right, you're too late anyway. Um, Yes. All the redstone and get everything set up because I need a, quite a few hoppers. No, do I? No, I don't actually. I need one hopper. Um, on up here. Um, I plan to have my massive blooming sugar cane farm, and I really shouldn't let them mobs see me. The automated sugar cane farm, which Mumbo Jumbo made. Um, quite a few guys on the server have made that, have made it, and it works like a charm. And I will be doing that myself. Uh, also, I've got to ha build my uh, cactus farm, my uh, coca bean farm up here and on this side I will be planning to build my blah, 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 stables I've got two horses inside so that's gonna be that's not gonna be too hard trying to get them out and they've got two witches yay I'm gonna have to try and cover up this little area but keep this bit free so I can actually get in oh god another zombies blooming up saw me right yes Got the stables here. I'm not sure exactly how big I'm going to make it. Probably enough for about 10 horses. Um, I've got plenty of wheat, so I can make loads of hay bales for them. So that should be pretty cool. So all in all, this is going to be a very, very long, long build. I am not sure where I am going to get all this resources because like you said I need ton and ton of glowstone and them zombies are doing my blooming head in also need lots and lots of freaking um, redstone lucky enough I have got a no it's in the chest yeah a lovely iron pickaxe with fortune 2 fortunately I couldn't get one with freaking silk touch I went to the nether before just to get loads of things sorted out because as you see here I've now got power five in my bow. How fantastic is that? And also, uh, unbreaking forms and a few extra things on my armor, so I can I can resist bloody sheep falling. That's odd. Yeah, I can resist bloody um, creeper explosions, and I've gone through quite a few and still walks away from it. So yes, right. I think on the next episode, hope I should hopefully have these buildings complete. And also make a start on the stables. So that shouldn't be too much problem. Like I said, I've got plenty of stone inside, so it's a case of cut the, put the stone in the furnaces, put them into the bricks like here, then set it up into a similar style as I've got the barns. Because on the barns themselves, I'll be planning to have like an oak sort of roof, like with stairs around the outside, and then and then the main stair blocks. So I can't wait for that. Alright guys, so if you enjoy this episode, I would like and like to see gear. Yeah, I can't even speak and get my words out. I like to continue watching me play the server. Uh, make sure to like, comment, and most importantly, please subscribe. I'll see you next time.